sure. If I could, uh, before I begin, Mr. Chairman, just to make a comment just very quickly, and it's re regarding the gentleman on the far end to my right. Um, and since he was the one that defeated me in 2018, I think <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably more than able to <laughs> get Mr. Billy and I have been friends since the 2010 campaign. We actually became friends during the campaign. And so it made it a little easier whenever uh, I was defeated to call him up the next morning and congratulate him. And uh, so you, you've been a very conscientious and hardworking, honest, and fair man, uh, Walter Payne. And we appreciate the service to Chatham County. You know, I'm, I'm reminded. Uh, again, I'll say this and I'll move on, but I'm reminded that there have been times over the past, I guess, nine years that we, we've met each other at different events. And, and while we you know, disagree on some things politically, uh, I think people's eyebrows would raise when they would see us <laughs> just talking to each other uh, as friends uh, and, and not as political opponents. Because even though we disagree, we've learned to disagree but yet to, to still be friends. And, and, and all, all, in all situations when we've worked together over the last nine years, it's been for the benefit of all the people of Chatham County. So I want to say that good luck, man. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, members of the board, thank you for this opportunity to come before you to speak regarding this issue that's before us this evening. I'm Carl E. Thompson, Sr., and I served for many years in Chatham County as a local church pastor, elected official, community college educator, and entrepreneur. And I'm here tonight advocating for the removal of the Confederate monument from the courthouse square. Over the course of my public life of service, I've made many acquaintances of differing ethnicity and religions, and with various political and social views. We sometimes vehemently disagree, but have always ultimately agreed to disagree out of respect for one another. And while there is a deep division among us around this issue, my hope is that we can one day come together to dialogue in the spirit of truth and reconciliation. <laughs> All monuments convey or represent something. One may inspire pride and nostalgia to some, whereas in others it evokes memories of pain and suffering. It all depends on how each person interprets the history of it. I know the monument is viewed by some as a historical reminder of the men who fought for the Confederate Army. But let me tell you what it means to me as an African-American growing up in, and living in this county and my understanding of the history that it represents. As a child, I grew up in the 50s and early 60s in the segregated South and experienced the degradation and the dehumanization that this system of injustice wrought. I remember when we traveled as families on vacations, we always traveled together for protection and support and out of necessity, packed picnic lunches and snacks for long journeys. The laws that existed at the time made public facilities such as restaurants and restrooms off limits to us. As one of a small group of children, I experienced voluntary immigration of the public schools in the 60s. And while I have very fond memories of Chatham Central High School, I also have pointed memories of threats of violence and animosity during those early years. Upon graduation from college, I moved back to Chatham County to live just as me and my friends were moving away to find better opportunities. I worked mainly for people of color in this county in 1976, but I wanted to stay and try to make a difference in people's lives. So I became a candidate for the Office of County Commission in 1977 and won by the grace of God, becoming the first African American to hold that office since Reconstruction. During my 16 years, during my 16 years as a public servant, I officer spent a lot of time in and around the courthouse in the performance of my duties. And I have to say, it sometimes felt surreal making decisions to protect the rights of 
all challenge citizens in the shadow of an image on a pedestal, no less, who would deny me uh, my basic civil rights. There are many valid reasons this statue should be removed from the front of the most prominent building in our county. The foremost is that it does not reflect the core American values contained in our country's constitution that you, our county commissioners, swore to uphold. Our constitution as a document is the embodiment of the ideals of justice, human rights, nonviolence, civil discourse, equal protection under the law, safety, fairness, integrity, accountability, and truth. This monument to the Confederate cause does not embody or reflect any of our values. Mr. Landro, the mayor of New Orleans, so eloquently summed this up by stating the following. These statues are not just stone and metal. They're not just innocent remembrances of a benign history. These monuments purposefully celebrate a fictional, sanitized confederacy, ignoring the death, ignoring the enslavement and the terror that it actually stood for. This presence of the presence of this monument sends an ambiguous message to anyone who comes to our county as to which side of the Constitution we're on, given the ideas that I just mentioned. This government represents all the people of Chatham County. There should therefore be no doubt in anyone's mind about the values we represent the whole year. As, as our county elected officials, you have the opportunity to do what is right rather than what is expedient. Allow history to remember you as being for the cause of what is morally right and just. I believe this verse from the book of Isaiah and the Bible is most appropriate. It reads, learn to do right, seek justice, defend the oppressed, take up the cause of the fatherless, and plead the case of the widow. Reconciliation can only come when truth is acknowledged, when there is a sincere attempt to eradicate all vestiges of hate, oppression, and man's inhumanity to man. Germany stands out as a truly remarkable symbol of reconciliation and truth by removing all monuments to Hitler and the Third Reich from public view. It ain't got nothing to do with racism. Lastly, Shut up. I'm here tonight for my children, <laughs> grandchildren, and there are many generations to follow in this county. I want them to inherit a place where diversity, justice, equity, goodwill and quality of life are celebrated. I spent my entire life working towards that goal. While we have made much progress, we still have a lot, a long ways to go. But every time we are collectively moved by the spirit of justice and righteousness to act to remove a symbol of oppression and injustice from our midst, we are progressively moving towards that goal. Thank you very much.